Alright everyone, welcome back. This is Darkest Dungeon. You've seen it. We've been watching. And last time we had some stress stuff happen. We started a longer quest. This time we're going to finish the longer quest. It's a medium. We've been doing shorts. I'm already plagued by coughing the moment the video starts. Decorative urn. I really don't want to. Creeping cough. That sounds like what I have right now. I wonder if I shouldn't even open those kinds of things. You know, like just stuff you know is bad. Oh, we surprised that. I think it's the first time I've had that. Yes. Nice! Give them the fire of the stars. Okay. This guy's pretty interesting so far. Okay, so I could really... Since I surprise them, do I just get like a first wave of attacks? Tracking shot. I've never used this. Okay. Oh! One thing. So I can do this and try and pick him off. He's at five. I don't think it's going to do enough. So I kind of want to... Yeah. Like I just want to hit him in the back. I don't have to clear corpses out to do anything like that. Actually... Cool. Yeah, I'm down with the... Alright, I was down. Can we get more surprises? <laughs> that was great. Arbalist only. You're an Arbalist, right? Maybe not. So we get some food, gold, a lot of gold actually, for whooping their asses. And then plus 1% crit. And you're an occultist, okay. So I should probably save this for an Arbalist. 1% crit. Doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it's probably pretty good. So let's swap you. It's a shame I can't use his, like, his healing skills in battle or whatever. So there's a curio up there, and then we're done with this pathway. I'm trying to look at the floor, too. Okay. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Since you give me sass. Hero surprise, so we need more torch. See, we're doing okay. The high damage setup is actually doing pretty well, because you end the battles faster, which is normally what you is the trade-off. You end the battles faster, and then because you do that, you uh you have to worry about healing. It's still going like forward the other way, right? Okay, battle. So we had a battle on the way back. So we can hit... You two? Okay. It's fine me. Oh, he takes two spaces because he's huge. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It's an interesting mechanic. That's pretty cool, actually. So I don't know if I want to do that yet. Let's we'll percent damage. Heal for one. That's actually pretty interesting. She still feels like that. So I don't know if I want to do that specifically. Unless he gets hit twice. That would make it more interesting. If you do this, and you can hit him twice. Because he's so big. Maybe. Let's... Let's go with the bleed. Let's get that bleed damage in there. You're going to hit everyone? No! He just blocks with his chest every time. It's hilarious. So, uh. Intimidate. Only hit you. Does it hit twice? No, just once. Alright, that was the test. He is debuffed, though. Damn you. That was one swing, sir. Hitting both of us. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, so we get actions. Your 3 HP, that should be enough. As the fiend falls. Hope Plus, it's really good to finish these battles quickly and keep stress down since you get the reduced stress by killing. What is what does this do? Weakening curse. Can I do that on you? Sure. Since he's hitting two people, I felt like it wouldn't matter at all because that <laughs> didn't seem to do anything. It's okay though. You know, it's fine. 
Oh. Decisive pummeling. Oh, she's reducing the stress. So I guess let's. I could finish him. Two points around for two rounds. He's at four HP, so he's not going to bleed out this time. So I can choose between killing him or healing. I'm going to heal, I think. That hits everyone. Gosh, I know it's like a stress move. Oh, everyone re oh I thought everyone resisted. Okay, most people resisted the bleed though. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and just run him down like that. Fuck! It was not enough. Stop it! Oh man, I thought that'd really help too, because he had the bleed resist. Up. Alright. Just spam healing. So it should be you, yeah. That should be enough. Whew. That one was kinda tricky. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Mainly because like. We're all bleeding. I still take the bleed damage after the fights, that's fair. So I got Street Fighter V for PC. And then I bought a 360 controller to plug in. Because I don't have a working uh, Xbox stick. My friend Perry's going to let me borrow his. Which is... Fantastic. So I can still play online. Or, I mean, I can play with the stick. I'm doing okay with pad. I kind of want to camp just to test it, but I don't feel like we really 100% need to yet, even though I think a healer would have been nice for this one. He can self-heal, though. He's taking the most damage. Let's look down here. But yeah, I've been playing Rashid, and Rashid's really fun. He's a big mix-up character, though, and I don't think... He's not insane, though. People compare him to Fuerte. Some people don't, from Street Fighter 4. Some people don't completely agree with that. Some people are like, he's nothing like Fuerte. I think he's got the similarities. He's a big mix up vortex character and if he kinda gets you in the thing if he gets you in the vortex which is like you know the constant onslaught or whatever lock display case let's okay oh so it didn't matter I didn't get anything okay I know okay we got torches we bought we got plenty of these, okay. Got so much food, so many torches, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. So we have a battle coming up. Yeah, Rashid's not as ridiculous as Fuerte. The reason Fuerte was... I mean, he wasn't top tier, but the reason Fuerte was really powerful is because he had grabs. And that's what you want in kind of a vortex, you know, high offense character is like... If I'm going to sit here and do, you know, a bunch of crazy run all over you kind of stuff, and you can block all of it, I need to have something for if you block me. And that's what the uh, the command grabs are for. I'm just going to run through these. Gosh, she's so good. I really like the Hellion right now. I mean, there's this, which kind of sucks. But you know what? It's fine. This guy's targeting back here anyway. So I get a... If anything, I'll get a chance to get a few heals off. Maybe two with him. Aw. Oh, I needed that one. I really needed that one to hit. So let's just try and clear these corpses by shooting them. So that's pretty good. She can do this again. Just lowering my, my dodge chance. I'm trying to get him up here. Oh, he's going to hit her. Okay. She couldn't dodge that. She's tired. Alright. Nice. Cool. I really like the Hellion right now. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely <laughs> And I'm sure there's someone out there that doesn't like the Hellion. But as of right now, I'm a huge fan of the Hellion. I like having him up front just because he has more HP. She has more speed. So I figure more frontline stuff's gonna hit him. You're pretty healthy. You know what? You're pretty healthy. 
Plus you're the occult dude, maybe you like the the crazy stuff in there. I have no idea. I'm not judging. I'm just curious. I didn't realize gold stacks in 1500s. Uh, we're going to camp. Probably in this room we'll camp because we're about we're a little over halfway through. So I feel like that's a good time. So let's get to this one then we'll camp. Just to learn the camping mechanic and stuff. Aww. Oh. I probably didn't. I probably should have seen that. Anytime I hit a trap or something like that, I like to look at the. I do look at the videos and stuff when I'm editing to see what I missed and what I could have did better on. So I think I could have. Uh, I probably could have seen that, but I look down to use the torch and I stop paying attention. Okay, camping consists of two parts: meal phase and skill phase. During meal phase, you choose. How much they eat, which determines recovery. Make sure you have enough food. Skill phase allows you to spend rest points on different hero skills used for recuperation. Minus 20. <laughs> That's probably going to piss them off. So you have half food, 10% health, zero stress, minus 10 stress. We're going to feast. Alright, we have a lot of food. I think we have enough to get through the rest of the dungeon. Physical mental health. Oh, camping skills here. There. Self only suffer twenty percent HP damage. So he hurts himself, and then he has a chance to reduce all his companion stress, which wouldn't be bad. He's not really stressed out. Plus, he's got he can heal. This is actually pretty good. I might use that. Bunch of resist for combats. One companion minus stress damage for four combats. Pep talk. That's actually kind of funny that him quarantining himself reduces their stress. That's really interesting. Let's let's do this. Okay, see, he only lost. He did lose some HP, six HP. Like I said, he can self heal, so it's actually not bad. There's almost no negative to that. Oh, everyone else gets stuff too. I should have looked at that. Plus eight percent crit. Self only reduced stress. 30. Everyone else increases stress. One companion minus stress damage. So I don't know if I'm going to use this yet. Self only prevents nighttime ambush. That's pretty good. Clean guns. Ooh. Damn, that's really good. I might do that. One companion heal. Like, the only person who needs healing is him, but like I said, he self heals, so I don't know if I need that. I could use both. Let's see. So, some of these are overlap. Reduce torch light by 100, increase stress by 15. So, mortality debuff. So, I wonder if that means if they're dying or something. Unspeakable commune. That's actually kind of cool. Dark ritual. It's like he turns out the lights so he can't see the shit that he does. Which stresses everyone out, and then he brings someone back from the brink or something. Prevent nighttime ambush. Increase stress. So we're gonna do definitely this. So camping is really good. And how much do I have? Five. How much does this cost? Pep talk. Okay, so I have five left. So I can sharpen this. Which wouldn't be bad. So I think we only have four battles left. But his is so strong. I like his more. I could do the healing. I could do the pep talks. I'm gonna go for the damage. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you're doing fine, dude. Alright. We can go, if you guys want. Yeah, it was me. You don't have to kiss me, though, it's okay. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Yeah, so I did the feast mostly to get the inventory open. Plus to reduce the stress. Because that's going to help us, obviously, long term. It's like, that's cool, I like the camping mechanic a lot. There's there's a lot there. 
Oh my gosh, this game has so much depth. I love it. Like, I love having so many things, like, think about and consider and stuff. I, it's so... It's so great. That's part of the reason I like fighting games. I was talking about Street Fighter V before. And me personally, I've been playing fighting games since 2002. And I used to be a tournament player for a couple years in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And the reason... For one, they're just really fun. But the reason I like to do it is because I like to run over traps when I'm not paying attention because I'm telling stories. But it hit the worst person. That kind of sucks. Excuse you. Oh, what the heck? Okay. I mean, I don't know if this actually matters, but I feel like having the occult dude, he probably studies and you know reads tomb tomes already and stuff. So having him do the book stuff might be better. I don't know if that actually works. But that's my RP assumption. Yeah, I like fighting games because when you play... For one, there are a lot of mechanics to figure out, and I like figuring those kinds of things out, which is why I have so much fun with a game like this. Is I like to just examine mechanics and min-max and think of things like that. Those are really fun things for me. You know, just little puzzles. Then we have disgusting maggot-looking things. Which... Boom! Oh, no crits! Grave Nibble! Nom 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 nom. Okay, we're... Ah. Uh, I needed your attack. So, stun does take off an action. It's good to know. It's like the craziest attack, by the way. You just drop nasty shit on them. Wait, this hits both. Nice. That was pretty good. I mean, she took a lot. Well, she didn't take a lot of damage. But... That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. You know, I try. I tell myself that every day. They're being very generous with giving us a lot of torches, even though I bought a shit ton. But yeah, like when you play people, like people, other people in fighting games, there are a couple of really cool things about it. Is like, you know, it's another puzzle. Like you're trying to figure out the other person. Which is really cool. And then the other is if you've ever watched anime and you watch fight scenes in animes, fighting games basically feel like that. Especially like when they're really intense. And so that's another reason I really like it. So anytime you know, go watch some shonen anime that has a lot of fighting, you know, like a a One Piece or a Naruto or something where they really break down what's happening. Aw, oh, we You failed me! You fuck! Oh, did I run out of torchlight when I wasn't looking? That might have been it. Gosh. So you're cool there, I should have... It's gonna be almost pretty hard to get you switched around, but... Let's get the damage going. Still waiting on you to crit, bro. Hell yeah. Oh, so I need to make some choices. So I get two more actions, they get two more actions. They're just gonna do damage, obviously, so how am I... So how bad do I want to get him... up front? Because she has a lot of speed. So I could have her... So I could have her switch, and then him switch, and then he can attack, and then he can switch again and move up or something like that, and everyone's still okay. Or I can really get my damage going. Is this going to kill anyone? So let's see, this does... This usually, this is always doing like 5, 6, 7 damage. I don't think it's going to kill anyone, except it might kill him. I don't think it's going to. So it should have 15% defense. I don't know how that calculates, but... Let's... Let's risk it. It's pretty scary. I can't even heal in the back line, that sucks. That's fine that you hit him though. That's he's still taking damage. I feel which one I think it's this guy that has the uh the pull. Alright, so is my turn coming up? Oh they got a turn. Don't pull my stuff, bro. Okay. So waiting on you to crit. I'm just saying. 
This should be good. There it is. Dude, stop it. Thank you. There we go. Double crit, nice. There we go. Two turns. We have to pull her down, so I'm not worried about that. That move is just really strong. Can I? Nice. Jade Onyx. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. That really, really sucked. Okay, that's fine. Nice. She really needed that. Okay. I'm so... Okay, so it's 25% on torch per... per use? Let's look for traps. What do you see? I mean, when you say hold up, I'm thinking you see traps, and you're not. Accusation. Is this like a madman? It is. <laughs> the name felt so fitting. Shit. Those who covered. What the? <laughs> Find it in no short supply. Hmm. I like doing the like the buckshot thing. Just because like two of those and like one of those or whatever and I get through the whole line. Like I have a lot of multi hitting attacks. I don't know if I should try and snipe him though. I think I should. Try and snipe him. So we can set up a kill for him. that makes life easier run him over you should have did like that maybe not oh that did a lot of damage oh shit is it zero how do I save him injury and despondence set the their death store heroism Except for stat penalties, plus heal them. Okay, so I have a band aid. I have two band aids, hopefully, I can use them in here. I'm gonna try and heal him outside of the fight. No! So he can't attack either. Okay. Can I. I can use the torch in battle. It's probably gonna kill him, he's got one HP. Let's just do that. And she can run through the rest of them. Oh he dodged! Fuck! That sucks, he gets another attack. Oh, clean it up. That, actually, that sucks a lot. He's still targeting him. Shit, dude. He's like, focusing on that one guy. Thank you. He got one more attack than he should have got. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Uh. Might get rid of this. Okay. Yeah, shit, he's on him, huh? Shit. Can I not? Do I have to be a certain person to use the bandage? I think we're done, actually.
Maybe not. Continue. Alright, we still have a couple rooms. We have two. Oh, I can't. I can't even heal. This is bad. Might have to just call this one. Uh, move skill, minus speed, I'm not... Not two? I guess let's get rid of this. Because they're not doing anything. I really don't want to leave, but I feel like I have to. Because he's dying. They're dying. I can't heal. So I think we need to go. That actually sucks. I want to explore the rest, but we got the quest done. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. Lots of gold. What do we get here? Gambler's charm. Ooh. That's just good. There's like no negative on that. What'd you get? Cool. Right on. Then you're going insane. So, ah! Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. Mm hmm. Survivalist is now unlocked. What else is unlocked? Sanitarium. Can I get these diseases off? The Nomad Wagon. Okay. The Cove has been unlocked. The Warrens. Okay, so I can go to new places. So let's. What's this? Survivalist. Camping skills. Okay. At home in wild places, she is a stalwart survivor and a strict instructor. <laughs> wow. What are these crests? Okay. Treat diseases. So I'm sure they have to be in there for a week, too. How do I unlock more of these? Patient cells. So we have... Oh, ten busts? Whew, that's pretty steep. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the, you can just buy these. Corners of the earth. Cool. Ten damage. That's a good trade-off. Like, I would definitely take that trade. There are two of them. Abomination only. So it's by character. Okay. Can I get an abomination? So I can have 12 people. Let's get some heroes. Jester. Man-at-arms. These are all new characters. Alright, so here's sub program screaming in his monitor that he wants a bounty hunter. Because I asked about, like I said in the first video, I asked in the comments about characters. If anyone wanted characters, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all these. Cause I don't have any of these yet. The thrill of the hunt. The promise of payment. So damn. Sort by class. There we go. So let's is Bounty Hunter. Okay, they're midline. They had axes. How do you unlock these? Do you have to train? I'm wondering. See, so it's uppercut, flashbang, finish him. So he gets execute camping skills. It's buffs. It's more buffs. So you can hit big dudes. One companion reduced stress. Okay. So let's. All right, I had it here. Let's see if we can fit this entire name in here. He said if the first one didn't fit, to try... Use a hyphen. Okay. There we go. I reserve the right to change the color. Even though all these are pretty good. They have some good color schemes. Let's try this. And then what does the... So we have a midliner. We have a frontliner. I really like her. Honestly, the Hellion. It's one of my favorites right now, so let's get 
What's the Jester do? So we have a third position. He looks pretty silly. Like, the top half's pretty cool, and then he skipped leg day. He's got... So he can heal with bandages. Bandages are a camp item, so that makes sense. Slice off. Does he throw these? Harvest? No, it's just a melee. Melee bleed. Slice off melee. He's got a buff. He's got a big buff. That's pretty sizable. Oh, he's a bard, basically. Ooh. I like that. Okay. So we might use him, too. So, the thing that sucks is he's melee. But if I use him with, like, the highwayman or something, so if I have, like, a frontliner, highwayman, second, then jester, third, it could be pretty good. Hmm. Chant. She's probably really good in camping. I just imagine, because you have the, uh, the clerics. I just, I like cleric classes. Really fun. So let's... And we're gonna have to at some point, right? To four? So these take deeds. Fuck. Deeds are in such short supply. So let's... Oh, that's right. We need to get you cleaned up. Where can we take you? Tavern. See? Oh, he only likes to gamble, right? That's his vice. Alright, go ahead. Uh, don't spend all my money. I mean, we're still coming out ahead. On cash. So, who else? I can probably take her off the table for right now. So, can I put you in here? I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Safe word. Uh, let's see. I need to de stress. I need to do so much with you. So, you're frontline, right? So, we're probably going to try you in the next one. Weapons practice. Ooh. Wow. That's a great skill. It just buffs the party. So, okay, so we're going to use you. What else do you have? You only have two colors? Gambler, evasive. Okay. So, since we're going to use. Let's put you. In the sanitarium. How much does this cost? Nothing. Okay, it does. This costs money. And then. You. Fuck, man. Okay, so who are we taking to the next one? Okay, I need to de-stress you. Because you're actually really good. Well, you seem really good so far. So, we brought in a lot of money doing all that, but we're putting out a lot of money at the same time, too. So, what's my party going to be? Frontline, mid, third, fourth, something like that. So who can we... Blacksmith. Base damage. Base HP. Okay, so I need armor smithing. Which I don't have. Okay. So we can't do upgrades yet. Increase your skills. Yes. Okay, so I have to unlock this. Mmm. I like that. Illumination plus torch. So she can keep your torch alive. Remap combat skills. Four active skills. Okay. Toggle the skills on and off. Display above. Okay. So is this like... Well, these are combat skills, so is this like the three you get? Okay, that's how you do it. So you turn this on. Gotcha. So I wasn't using that at all. Which isn't 
Doesn't look like it's terrible. Maybe it is. If I have judgment. You know, and then I have this. Okay. Heals. You're a healer. Alright, we'll play more with skills later. I think I'll... This is one of those things where I want to be... In between videos or something to do skills and read stuff. I kind of want to, like, start another one, but we're about out of time. So... Uh, next time, more questing. Just... You know... It looks like you come to town, recoup, spend stuff, go back out. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Look forward to the next video, and I'll see you guys later.